Lincoln View was what they were billed to be. They were an extremely good defensive team, and they challenged us, it felt like, on every shot, whether it was a perimeter jumper or a, a shot inside. So kudos to them, and we take a lot of pride in how well, how well we defend, and I think I would be remiss if I didn't compliment them on their defense tonight. Coach, can you talk a little bit about the guys to, to the side of you in terms of uh, their impact and just the, the whole um, season and, and obviously to get to the Final Four, a big deal. And two guys yeah. to, to both your side are a big part of that. Yeah, we've, we've rode uh, their shoulders all year long. You know, I mean, they've, they've carried a, a ton of the workload for us at both ends of the floor. And, uh, you know, to, our, to their teammates' credit, their teammates accepted that and then you know, we're willing to accept their role, but uh, you know, I can't speak enough about the, the impact and the importance that both Drew and Brady have had to this team. And, and as you mentioned, the success that we had, I mean, we would not be sitting here today if it wasn't for either one of these young men. You had so many opportunities today. You were so close so many times. Yeah. It seemed like it was just within your grasp. You couldn't hit a shot. You couldn't get a rebound. You yeah. Uh, empty. There's three empty possessions to start the third quarter. Yeah. Which you all only come up and shoot 20% of the quarter. Can you talk about those things? Yeah. I felt like in the first half, you know, we were in good shape. The fact that we go down only tied at half and we left a lot of points out on the board. We'd, we'd got some good stuff offensively. Just couldn't get, you know, we couldn't get our bunnies to go, quite honestly. And um, so I felt like we just left too many points out on the floor. And I felt like we recovered well in the third quarter, as you, you know, mentioned, we get off this slow start, we get that thing you know, tied with the last possession. And I felt that was a big momentum swing. Uh, not maybe so much the fact that they hit the shot you know, to end the quarter, but then they came right back out and uh, got the back door on us. And next thing you know, they're up four. And, and uh, we really never did recover then from, from that point on. Drew, you haven't had many frustrating days like what today was you know, as far as shooting. And I mean, Ball rattled around and rolled and did everything except fall through. Yeah. A little bit about that. Yeah, it was tough, very tough. Uh, I mean, I, I don't really know. Um, it's just one of those nights that didn't fall, and that I mean, that's part of basketball, you know. And it's one of those nights. Drew, were they doing anything different that you hadn't seen, or just a lot of double team, just a lot of defense? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've seen about the same thing all year. They were in up in you and. It's very, very uh, challenging for you, for guarding it, and yeah. Coach, it seemed like their length too. I mean, even some of the wide open layups, it, it felt like you had to change direction when you were attacking too. How, how imperative was that to how you guys attack on offense? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it did affect. I think that's a good observation. I mean, their their length definitely altered some of our shots. And to Drew's credit, you know, he was probably shooting against a longer arm than he has a lot this year. Um, so, the, uh, yeah, I, I would confirm with what you're saying. Their, their length definitely presented us some problems for the most part, you know, when it came to offense. Uh, the, probably the thing I'm most pleased with is the fact I thought we did a great job on the defensive boards, and we felt that was critical coming into the game. So if you would have told me, hey, you're only going to give up four offensive rebounds, I'd have felt extremely good about our chances of winning that game, you know. But um, you know they had, they had some kids hit some big shots for them too through the course of that game and yeah. Well, Brady, that wasn't you, fighting the post today. Uh, it was very physical, like always. Uh, Lincoln View is a very good defensive team, so it was very physical. Coach, we've hit a couple of big shots, ten points, two threes. Uh, was he on your radar as far as guys to watch offensively like that? Yeah, I mean, we knew that. You know, we were taking a risk by probably leaving him that wide open, but we felt that our first priority was to take away the post game as much as possible, and we chose to use that defender to help in the post. You know, so I felt there in the first half when he hit those threes, it was kind of almost a, you know, a tit for tat trade off because our freshman came in and, and hit two threes for us too. You know what I mean? So it was almost, you know, a push, I guess, from that standpoint. But uh, yeah. Drew, I know, know this one stings a little bit, but obviously being a senior and you know you're headed out, but 
you know, coming to Columbus and having some strong underclassmen. Can you just kind of talk about what that means to, to leave your mark and your senior leadership and, and, and knowing that Jackson's got some underclassmen coming back? Yeah, uh, we were very blessed to get here, and, and everyone has value. So everyone stepped up, and it's like Trent did this tonight. And, I mean, everyone has value, so everyone's going to put out. So, yeah, fears to follow, yes. Should be good.